Where the f am I? Pokemon Quest, a spin-off game released for the Nintendo Switch in 2018. It saw some moderate success, and after a nice little campaign, it never received any updates. At least worldwide, because in case you didn't know, this game is actually still supported frequently. What happened here? So, as mentioned, this game released as free-to-play in 2018. Alongside the announcement of Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, Pokemon Quest was technically the first Pokemon game on the Nintendo Switch. It was also later ported to mobile devices. The funny thing is that rather than being developed by another collaborator, Game Freak themselves developed Pokemon Quest. Something out of the ordinary, but that actually seemed like a promising idea, especially if we were to receive more updates. But like I said, that's a bit complicated. So being a free-to-play game, Pokemon Quest's main form of gameplay focuses on adventuring across Tumble Cube Island and meeting new Pokemon in battle with cooldown and auto-based combat in different stages. There's also a base camp that allows you to edit and grow your teams while cooking attracts new Pokemon to fill up your Pokedex. It's clearly a game you could really get into, especially with the grinding aspect. Though these type of games aren't typically for me, I'll either play the tutorial levels and then forget to play the rest, or I'll spend way too much time playing in a given week. Though hopefully as I'm writing this script, I've opened it up again for some gameplay or even scheduled it for a future livestream. But I have to say that I think the style of this game is very charming. While the Pokemon shapes are funny and were possibly made to win out over some other cube-shaped competitors, I think they fit the mobile game aesthetic and make for their own recognizable little world. The soundtrack is also really good, as we would expect of Game Freak. It has this digital, almost chiptune feeling which fits the blocky Pokemon aesthetic. Even though the game didn't come out at the right time for me personally, it came out at the perfect time for any other Pokemon fan. Being a free-to-play game on the newest Nintendo console with a main series game on the way, it made things easy and accessible. As this was the perceived beginning of the game's future and would tie into Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, only the first generation of Pokemon were available in this game. But as the years went on and more Pokemon games released on the console, there were no major updates. But miraculously, in mainland China, this game has continued to receive those major updates. Johto Pokemon, Hoenn Pokemon, Holiday Events, Legendary Events, even just Pokemon from every other region because. This is exactly what you would expect of a free-to-play game, and we see this in all other Pokemon games. So what's the deal with Pokemon Quest? Well, it turns out that this is technically a completely different game. Due to the success of Pokemon Quest, the company NetEase collaborated with Game Freak to develop the Chinese version of the game now called Pokemon Adventure, which is receiving all of these updates. I'm not saying that updates like this would have kept me playing or would even make me begin to play again, but just seeing how well this game is treated elsewhere, along with how the promotional images continue to carry that charming style, it's giving me a bit of FOMO. I don't really know what's keeping them from continuing this in the rest of the world. It could be some legal issues with it being co-developed by a different company, or it could just be that the Pokemon company genuinely doesn't believe that the rest of the world would be interested. Sure, it is a Pokemon game with even more microtransactions that could potentially make them even more money, but as we've seen, that isn't necessarily a recipe for success. And it's not like they didn't believe in it from the start, I mean we got a decent amount of merchandise based on it, and it was really cool seeing Mustard chill out on the couch and play it in the main series games of Sword and Shield. Kind of funny that this game is a game within a game. But now that brings us to today where out of nowhere we've just gotten the first in a series of animated shorts based off of Pokemon Quest. Again, the original international version is still supported, but nobody could have predicted we'd get this. They do plan to release even more of these little animated shorts. It's nothing super special, a cute little one and a half minute story of a Pikachu washing up on an island and meeting a Psyduck, but it is something. Though because of its simplicity, while the Japanese Pokemon channel was totally fine with posting it, the official English release was on the Pokemon Kids TV YouTube channel, which is its own hellscape of a rabbit hole that I'm nowhere near ready to dive into. But that detail specifically has me a little skeptical as to whether or not this is a hint toward the updates of the Chinese version coming internationally within the near future. I think Pokemon Quest is just one of those anomalies. I've discussed it before in the case of Pokemon Medallion Battles, sometimes there are just games that fit the audience of one country that don't need to be brought over into others. But it does feel like a missed opportunity, especially because there were definitely people who want to see this game continue in their territories. Really, we'll just have to wait and see what becomes of Pokemon Quest and Pokemon Adventure. But I feel like now is a major turning point to discover with certainty whether or not we'll see any future developments. But let me know if you've ever played this game and if you want to see it get another update. All I know is that I'm feeling the itch for some Pokemon stuff and this might be one of those games I get way too invested in. If only for the hope of eventually getting my very own blocked Totodile. 
Thank you to every channel member for your continued support, especially the great Gators. Brandon Mork, Cheeseburger Lasers, Gavnuts, Justin R, Cosmo Zero, Michaela, Quago, Volity, and Pastel Blood. If you would like to support, get your name shouted out here as well as access to emotes for comments and live streams as well as early videos, you can become a channel member today. You can also follow me on Twitter as well for more memes, but anyway this has been Gatorx, I'll catch you all later.